Oh, go live. We should go live. I think so, at least. Ooh, that's not perfectly straight. <laughs> Just like me. God. Come on. Ease into position. And then lock it up. Why is it swerving? Oh my god. Ball joints are some of the worst camera equipment invented by man. You know what? That's good enough for me. Hi, I'm super overexposed on this side, uh, but that's just a problem that we're going to have today and we're not going to be able to fix. Uh, new day, new stream. Yeah, brand new stream, brand new day. Um, this camera is so bad. <laughs> like, if you compare it to the, the shot we had earlier. Anyway, hi, here are my hands. As you can see, they are hands. Uh, I'm gonna make this a little quieter. Oh, you know, I actually need, um... Uh... I need to get a link going for the stream. I need to tag people. So give me one moment to do that. But hello again! How long it has been since we have seen one another, chat. God, my face is so overexposed. Why is this camera so overexposed? Can I, like, configure video? Nope. This man eats bricks, that's not true. I would never do something so sacrilegious as eat Lego bricks. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to quickly... Camera control, drop the exposure. Just... Really? This is negative four. This is negative five. This is negative eleven. This is two. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why is it so shit? Oh, it's much smoother, I think, with lower you get. Anyway, we'll drop it, like... Yeah, that feels decent ish. Um, good enough. Dutch streamer exposed. It's an expose. It's a little dark. Um, but honestly, this is as good as we're going to get it. And hey, this is the, the focus, right? This side of things. Uh, I have a camera way up here. <laughs> like, look at him. He's so tall. <laughs> uh, let me post some linkies on social media. And then, uh... We're live with our second stream. Uh, come join us while we hang out and build... Some Lego. Do that, and then I need to get my thumbnail. Is this Mario Kart music? This is like Mario Kart music. Post, then I'll go into Donkey Chat. Uh, I hate it when Clipboard does that. Uh... Bam. Okay, we done it. Uh, I'm not digging this playlist super big. Uh, let's find a different one. This one. CSI, we're back. Now with Lego. Who doesn't love Lego, man? Who doesn't love Lego? We got this huge box! This thing is massive! 
It weighs a ton and I can't get it on screen. I can't get the whole box on screen. But we're gonna open it up. We're gonna see what's inside. We're gonna enjoy. My mom is here. Everyone say hi to the mom in chat. Anyone makes a milk joke, I will find you. I'm gonna cut open the tape. Because if you rip it, it's definitely gonna take a little bit of the print with it, and you don't want that. Brick bubber. Yeah, unlike the last time we built Lego, this set does not belong to my mom. Oh my god, already a cool design feature. This has a little nubbin on it, right? That's because this side has a little cutout here. So you can close the box back up and have it like actually stay closed. Okay, that's not what I expected to see. Oh! I'm a big white box. There's bags. Oh no, they're plastic. That sucks. There's a lot of bags in here. Grab bag number one. Because we're probably going to need it. Uh, gonna get my QR code reader out because I know what's gonna, what's gonna come up next. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a shame that they use plastic bags though, because uh, you know Lego is trying to move towards paper bags, and I really hope that they would have used paper bags in this box, this set. There are more bags, <laughs> uh, but this is what I was looking for. This parcel. <laughs> Oh, there are a lot of bags in this set. Who would have punk? Oh my fucking god. Bag 30! <laughs> oh boy! Oh, this looks like pieces for the dragon. We're not building the dragon today, boys. That's not happening. Alright. This is what I wanted. Shout out to Scenery Workshop, where I got this beautiful blade from. Uh, www.sceneryworkshop.nl For all your uh, miniature making needs. Anyway. Before I show these to you, one quick moment while I scan the QR codes and to take in my LEGO Insider points. So you guys can look at this one though, because this one doesn't have a code on it. Look at that. Look at that beautiful artwork. I actually saw the competition for this one too. They had a they had an art competition for uh DD where you had to like design uh the 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 thing for the the build. Free seven times free is 21. Okay, scan oh no. They're stickers. Oh no. This set is for myself. It is not for a special occasion. I got it from the lego.com website and I want my points. I got my 20 points. Okay. This set comes with four booklets. <laughs> That's a lot of booklets. There, not in the right order. Uh, I'm fine with the music right now. I have a lego account. I only made it for Fortnite for the free stuff. You should have a lego insiders account. It's free and you get like bonus stuff. Okay, it's luckily there's not a lot of stickers, but oh, the painting is a sticker? That sucks. Because, like, this painting was, like, one of the coolest things uh, they had to offer. Late Grydef Raid! Oh my god, welcome, Raiders! I forgot I did that joke myself, honestly. So, uh, this time I'm not gonna have the little booklet here because I was too lazy to set it up, so we're just gonna have this booklet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put it here, uh, which would hopefully stop me from building Lego here. Because I tend to do that too much. Alright. Pretend I sent that much earlier. I will, don't worry. Uh, voice might get a little echoey, but what you gonna do? Grid Squid Raid, hell yeah. Oh look, it's a Beholder! Exclusive Dungeons and Dragons Adventure. In 1974! Sorry, hang on. Yeah. 
1974, with the roll of a die, a groundbreaking new role-playing game opened the portal to an immersive fantasy world unlike any other game before it. The lure of endless adventures beckoned players to explore their imagination, create their own stories, games, characters, and rules in the real world, and form alliances and friendships with the new species as they battled monsters in strange realms in the same world. In the game world, sorry. Dungeons and Dragons, registered trademark, invented play, invited players of all ages to embrace their inner adventurer, warrior, or imaginary creature. In this spirit of creativity and collaboration, Wizards of the Coast has developed a thrilling adventure that takes place in this LEGO Ideas model. Before you start playing, scan the QR code to download your copy of the exclusive adventure from our website. Uh, should I read all of it? <laughs> There's quite a lot to read here. Um... Oh god, my headphones. I really need to buy new headphones, honestly. Behold! Behold, Lego. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here, because D&D is turning 50. Um, or has turned 50? I'm not sure. Meet the model design winner. This is Lucas. Um, what a, what a little cutie pie. Uh, and then over here we have someone else who I don't know who they are. Uh, oh, they're the guy that made the, this art. They made this. Beautiful piece of art. Uh, hang on a second. This is recycled art. This is from the monster manual. No, 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 no. You can't. No, you're not getting away with that. Hang on. If I turn around right behind me, I have my my personal monster man. That's the monster. That's not the monster manual. I have my personal monster manual right here. And if we flip to the page of, of kobolds, which is, I always forget how the alphabet works. Where's K in the alphabet? Kobolds, page 195. If we flip to the page for kobolds, Oh my god, wait, it's not this one. Um, hang on, it might be Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes? Here's Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes. If we flip to the page for kobolds... Are there no kobolds in this book? Hang on. Wait. Monstrosity, right? Are they monstrosities? I actually remember. They're humanoids, doi. Uh, that was stupid of me. Okay, wait, there's no kobolds in, in this book. Uh, so it must be in, uh, Bolo's Guide to Monsters! Uh, which has, uh, kobolds! 165. 165. Uh, shit, it's not this one ever. Um, okay, fuck. Uh, I don't have all the monster books. <laughs> the rest of them. I think it might be in, in Multiverse. <laughs> Which I don't have a physical copy of. Well, my point stands. It's. <laughs> It's, uh, it's, it's art from Wizards of the Coast, so it's being reused. And yeah, at least it's not AI art, because my god, uh, Wizards of the Coast has had a bad rep with that recently. Also, I want to point out, no one has said anything that I changed, like, entire outfits? Like, what? Oh anyway, yeah, this is, um... Look, the music is only kind of fitting, okay? Uh... I made a joke about it being a holy day. Oh, that, that is true, that is true. Um... It's 133? Measure. French. Starting to, starting to lose hope here. Hey, it's the Cloak of the Mountain Bank. One of my favorite magic items. Oh, the deck of many things. 
okay. I don't think I don't think it's in here. Um hang on, wait, 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 don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere. It might be in uh Xanapar's Guide to Everything! Cause that also has treasure, treasure, treasure. Uh, what are magic items? Uh, no, these are downtime. Oh no, no, it's not in here. I swear it's in somewhere in one of the books. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, hey, look, it's the monsters you're gonna be making in this set: the skeleton, gelatinous cube, owl bear. There's also the beholder that displays your beast. Oh, I didn't know it came with a mimic. And there's Shinder Howl, the red dragon. Ooh la la. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Talk about like the history of D&D. And then you get like your heroes. There's a dwarf cleric, a gnome fighter, an orc rogue. At, isn't it, shouldn't this be the half orc rogue? Because you can't play a full orc unless you have like special rules. Um. Anyway. Who cares? Start building. Fuck you guys. I just wanted to prove my my knowledge by being wrong over and over. I can already there's some rare pieces in here already, like golden grating. Damn. Aren't we watching a different streamer? Great up sentence here to rate and saw YouTube with 1.3k subs. So true. Honestly, there's a huge chance I like if I start my crafting channel. That I'm definitely going to raid my crafting channel from my like normal channel a lot. Oh my god, there are a lot of pieces in this first bag just alone. Mind you, right? The highest bag number we saw so far, and it might even go higher, is uh, 30. There are at least 30 bags in this set. That's a lot. Shouldn't you grab like bins or something to put them? Oh, have you not seen uh? A Grydip Lego stream before. Here's our brick separator. Beautiful. We need to find this piece. Presumably, is somewhere. Oh boy. Is it in this one? Yes, it is. There's always like a soft plastic that doesn't crinkle as much, and you can just like rip it. Found the image. Oh my god, Bad Lux, you actual legend. Robohose version of the 5e kobold image. Uh, the 5e edition manual. Oh, it probably is. Hang on. Wait, 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 There's only one more place it can be. Please. Equipment is on page 143. Oh, it could also be in the trap section? Because it's kobolds? I don't think it's in here. I don't think it's in here. I think I'm wrong. Damn it! But where in the books is it from? Ooh, a piece of candy? I don't care you made a rubber hose version of it. I want to know where it's from. All right. We're going to actually start building Lego now. This is where I'll be doing most of my building. In this uh, corner here. All right. Oh. oh my god, the gelatinous cube is the thing that like tracks our progress. Like, check it. There's the, the gelatinous cube tracking it. We're gonna be making our dwarf cleric first, for which we'll need uh, a face. Which looks to be this grumpy old head. Oh my god. So, <laughs> one head. There you go. One head is, uh, if it wants to focus, is like this normal, just like kind of grumpy looking dude. And then one head, one head has a black eye. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that's that's messed up. Hey, here is little leggies. Oh, they're the they're the child legs. Lego has like specific size legs for children, and he got the children legs. He is a tiny boy. Uh, you got the shoulder pauldrons going on top of there. Then it's an order of beard. Head, which you know what? Let's make him. Let's make him beat up. Let's beat. Let's beat the hell out of this guy, and give him his luscious locks. Perfect. Uh, and then he gets. I think that's a a, a lantern. 
looks like one at least. Like this like weird little thingy here. Uh, I'm gonna also do boop boop so I can see you guys better. Uh, to track when they are bloodied. I like that. That's a good one. Uh, you can actually genuinely play with this Lego set as if it is D&D, by the way. Like it, like it said, there's an adventure tied into this. Uh, and it's straight up just like, you can play with the thing. Oh, you can even make it a female dwarf with the different heads. There's also a woman head. Oh, the woman head can't be beat up. Messed up. Why can't I beat up women? Hmm? me that why is it so wrong to beat up a woman huh uh i think it should be in here then looking for a tiny little piece there it is why did my screen go off uh hello what bag are you on we just opened it so we're on bag number uno volo's guide to monsters i got that book <laughs> You got that, but say it's page 64. There they are! Woo! Uh, oh my god, they are on the page for... Yeah, kobolds! But this book didn't have... Oh my god, it's in the lore section. Bolo's Guide to Monsters has, like, a section first on where they, like, just tell you about monsters. And in the lore section is when they get this art. Mystery is all. Thank you, Madlax! I genuinely really appreciate that. I love that we now have actually found where it is from. That is a very satisfying moment. Okay, let's move on. Uh, continue with our minifigures. Don't you roll away from me. Finish this guy's lantern. Already seeing some cool details, like the fact that he has uh, golden hands. His hands are like golden and shit. It's neat. Google Lens is goaded. Oh my god. Google Lens. I haven't used that. I haven't used that enough, honestly. Um, He's right-handed, so it should go in his right hand. He's right-handed according to the art, at least. Okay. Bam. We got a minifigure down, boys. I'm gonna put him right there. Let's get building. Let's get physical. Physical. Right. So yeah, um, I honestly, so listen, right? I bought this set and my coworkers gave me flack for it. My coworkers were like, this guy is like quitting his job and he's just like, just able to just suddenly bam, buy a $370 Lego set, right? Uh, but that's kind of missing a lot of context. Uh, Cause I was talking to my coworkers about how I bought it and they were like, bro, for real? But I've been saving for this set for a while. I've been saving for this set ever since, like, I heard that they were making a D&D Lego set. Because I've been playing D&D for fucking years now! I've been playing D&D for, uh, last time I checked it was seven years, but time has passed since then, so I'd probably say it's maybe closer to eight years nowadays. Uh, I've been playing D&D for a long time. And so when, when Lego came out with the fact that they were doing a competition, or like uh, a Lego ideas thing for making your your own uh, D&D Lego set. I was immediately hyped as hell and wanted to buy it instantly. Uh, I immediately have already fucked up. Use your key. So yeah, that's that's why I immediately impulse bought it uh, and why we're now building it. <laughs> also, if you're wondering like, all oh, right, this is a huge set. Didn't you say before that you have like zero space in your room? Yes. In seriousness though, uh, this set is gonna probably come right here. I'm gonna take the stuff that's up here, I'm gonna take it down. Uh, some of the stuff is gonna be like, oh my god, I'm working off the book again. I'm, I, I'm doing the thing I said I wouldn't do. Thank you for reminding me. I'm just so like used to working close to me. Uh, also, I gotta roll up my sleeves a little bit if I wanna have full movement on my arms. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna be putting together the pieces. And uh, honestly, I could also just like move my camera down depending on like where I'm working. Uh, I goofed something there. Yeah, I did. There's supposed to be uh, another one of these. Oh man, it, because it's so warm in here, my arms are sticky, so I can't actually rest my arm on the book or else it'll stick to the book. Uh, okay, put this here, put this here, and then put this here. That's good. 
All right, moving on. So we're, we're building like the coastal line portion right now. Uh, so I think the first part of the, the build that you're making is like the, the tower. There's like a big old spire that you're uh, that you're working on. Um, which is, uh, in my opinion, I honestly think that the, the tower is like the coolest piece of the build. The dragon notwithstanding, obviously. The dragon is 100% the coolest part of the set. Uh, I don't think anyone would argue with you on that. Are we, are we going to slay it? I mean, gamers... Uh, White Fang is, maybe not just White Fang, I'll probably invite Bad Lex too, but we are definitely going to be playing through the LEGO D&D adventure. And I will definitely, like, have the actual model in front of me and, like, move pieces to where you guys want it to move. Like, we are going to be 100% playing this. Oh, the Spire? Are we going to slay the Spire? You said are we going to slay it right after I was talking about the dragon, so I thought you meant that. We are also going to slay the Spire. I've never been very good at slay the Spire. What is this piece? It's like a diagonal window. This is such a weird piece. I was attracted to it because it had like these like tea thingies, but it's like I think like a window pane can click into here because there's like little notches in the corners. It's weird. So yeah. Uh, should, by the way, what did you guys think of the double stream? What do you guys think of this concept where we do a Splatoon stream first and then a Lego stream after? Uh, obviously, that's just for this specific case. Uh, we don't have to always do Splatoon and Lego. But, um, I just got a WhatsApp call from a random number. I also like, also, I like the double stream. I hate when people call me on WhatsApp, but WhatsApp is also the only app I will ever call people on. Um, it's more stream for the price of one. I think changing games midstream kind of sucks, because then your SEO is kind of ruined and stuff, because if you change your title, then blah, 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 blah. Uh, so I don't like changing what I'm doing midstream, but I also don't like doing the same thing for like four hours. Oh, back to back. So it, it gives, uh, it gives an opportunity to do more. Oh, I like this, uh, this brick design. This is cool. See, so you, you have like these little, like the bars that are usually used for like gold, but they're now in just printed in like stone gray. And so you're making like a little like studded wall thing. That's kind of neat. I kind of like that. This is some funky music. Also, golden grating here. This is probably a pretty rare piece. The only other sets I know that have golden stuff is Ninjago. And I know that if Boo is still here, the mention of Ninjago just sent chills down their spine. Also, I gotta flip this one around. There we go. This, uh, this tan sandstone piece was backwards. How could I? Honestly, I think Ninjago has beautiful sets. I just think they are overpriced. Uh, they are just slightly too expensive for something I would buy. If Ninjago sets were a little cheaper, I would definitely get them. If Oragoboras theme is catchy, why do you? Why are you so good at this? Is it because you watch Silva Gunner? Uh, 33. This is, yep, Kip Oragobora, Ocarina of Time. You're too good at that, Terry. It's suspicious. Uh, this got to go here. Beautiful. So now we're making like a little wall there. Isn't that nice? I'd love to maybe get, uh... So I have a little, we have a little room that we're using for like crafting and stuff. I'd love to if I was able to, uh, get like a full-on streaming setup in there. Oh my god, it's already time for the first sticker! <laughs> Fuck me! I'd love if I was able to get like a little streaming setup in there so we could do Lego streams on that desk because it's much more space and you can have much better camera angles than you can here. All right. We got to do our first sticker, um, which I'm not happy about. Eh. Okay. It's also like a really annoying place because it's on the inside of this thing. Okay, I'm not, I can't do this on screen. I gotta do this on my face. It is difficult to reach in there. Hang on. I'll be right back. I have ideas. Give me a moment.
put me right here. My iFixit kit. You might be wondering, what? Why? Because my iFixit kit has some of the best tweezers you've ever seen. All right. Gotta loosen up the shirt. I'm not getting in the way with it in my head, am I? Oh, I'm definitely not. I'm good. Okay. So. My arms are sticking to the fucking booklet. Alright. Center it. Okay. It's a little crooked. <laughs> but honestly, I don't mind if it's a little crooked. I think that's good enough. Uh, I forgot to finish it. <laughs> okay, this can go back in here for safekeeping. It's crooked stickers, uh, that's, just, that's just life, you know? That's just what life is. Free minigame music, Mario Party. I love that the stream is going to be Terry guessing what songs are playing. Why can't you just have it come pre-painted like in the old days and have it not stickers like in the older days? I mean, I don't know why they don't just have printed pieces. To be fair, this would be a pretty hard piece to get printed, I think. De yeah, this song is Diddy Kong Racing. Even I knew that one because I love Diddy Kong Racing as a, as a, as a wee little whelp. A wee whelp. Shout out to the people who get the reference on that one. Because that expansion in itself is old as hell. So I don't know if it shows up outside the expansion. Okay, we made this little piece circle with two thingies on it. Beautiful. I played it a handful of times. I really like Diddy Kong Racing. I think it was a very fun game. Uh, we gotta get uh, uh, a one tall boy and combine it with a two tall boy with eyeballs on the front. And then gotta put a one by one plate on it. One by one plate. Clicks in. Uh, that goes right here. And next to it goes a brown pillar there. One brown pillar goes here. And one short tan pillar goes here. That should be it for this page. Oops. I hit the page. Destroyed the booklet. Everything's on fire. Uh, now I do this, Link, that's where Conker from Conker's Bad Fur Day made his debut before they decided to give him a game of mem rating. Really? Conker's Bad Fur Day started life in fucking Diddy Kong Racing? That is wild. Okay, we're already starting on some detail work, uh, by doing little halfway things, I think. My cam- my microphone is honestly super in the way. <laughs> sitting right there. Bam. What's this song? <laughs> I don't recognize this one. This is Yoshi's Crafted World main theme. Uh, I made a mistake. <laughs> I looked down and I suddenly realized, wait a second, this is supposed to be here. Cause uh, this is supposed to be here. The beautiful. Woolly World, in it? No, I was wrong. It's Crafted World. Though, to be fair, our, those games are basically the same thing, aren't they? Click. Just snapped into place. This one goes here. God, because I'm a little schwebby, everything is sticking to me. It's a torturous existence. Bam. Uh, let's go quickly. There you go. One long piece finishes that off. I think that's everything there. Oh, the diagonal piece for the window? Not for a window, for a door. This is where the door pops in. At least I was right that something was supposed to pop into it. Look at that. Functional door action. Uh, so yeah, this goes right here. Uh, I think. That feels weird. Yeah, no, it does. 
It just feels a little strange. And then to finish off this like weird little corner in the back, it gets a little piece right there. What? What was that? Uh, oh my god. The door gets a golden grating as well. Let's see, pop it off to do that. I assume from the front. It might be from the back, though. I think it's actually from the back. It's weird. Maybe from both. Well, I did it from the back, but. Oh no, yeah, it's definitely from the back. And then you can also put in a golden stud for a doorknob. Wonderful. Okay, slop that back into place. And now we have a little front to the tower. Very cool, Mr. Legu. Right. Next step. I think we'll break a fireplace. Looks like a fireplace. Uh, gonna need... We, where is it? Oh, it's, it's a black one. I was looking for the wrong piece. I thought it was gonna be gray. Because everything else in this portion is gray. Okay. So yeah, LEGO streams I like because they're a lot more chill. It's mostly just me talking to you guys. Uh, and now that I'm leaning this way, I can like really lean into my, mic my microphone and be like, Hello, how are you? Talking directly into your ear. I just like chiller streams. Talkie streams are always nice, but it's hard to build an audience on just talking. Uh, because who says you're actually interesting? No one. That's right. Oh my god. This, one, this one's a piece of shit. <laughs> How do you get that in there? Wait, you don't. What? What am I missing? Oh my god, I'm blind. I keep missing portions where, like, this goes into this, and then this goes into this. There we go. And now... BAM! You got a whole ass fireplace. Also got a message on Discord, which I'm quickly gonna check. Because it might be someone trying to urgently get my attention. Why is it so wrong to beat up a woman? I mean, that's an older quote that I just missed. <laughs> um... Oh my god. Oh, Oreo. Oreo, you fiend. Okay, and now we put a little slab over top. Bam. Fireplace built. The fireplace goes right here, it seems. Um, which shows that I goofed. <laughs> These two are supposed to be right there, and there's supposed to be a big pillar between them. I've already goofed a lot this stream, which is a worrying sign of things to come. And then a low arch here. Bam. Why is there phones in this song? Is this a side order track? The freak? Okay. So far, I'm, I'm liking this build. I like houses in Lego, honestly. Uh, especially when they have like creative little use cases like the one that we are building right now. The one with the bricks on the side to give a, an element of like a, a, a stone foundation with like sandstone bricks on top. Uh, the door is dooring everyone. Hello, List. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I only just got these messages. Like they just suddenly flooded in. That's wild. Hello, Liz. We were talking about you earlier and how you have a a bit of a that guy problem. Um, but welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, d and fun fact. While it's melted in stone, you're able to use spells and ability within the range of s something. Self. Because the fucking emote button always covers up shit. So you're able to set up a druid wild shape ambush in it. Hmm. That's a neat fact. I wonder why why you feel inclined to, 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 to tell me about it. It's almost like we were discussing something related to that. Uh oh, oh my god, there's these there's oh my god! There are these windows, Roy, that if I pop them into here, you fucking see, you'll see you this is gonna blow your fucking mind. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? You see this fucking window? It opens up! <laughs> Insane. Actually, I'm going to cry. I'm going to burst into tears right now. 
What? Oh. I'm blind. They keep making small little goofs. The sudden British is for comedic effect. How are you doing, List? Good to see you. I'm sorry that you have to go through some of the stuff that you're going through right now. Um, I was actually talking earlier about uh, my that guy story with Kyle. And also to a lesser degree with Mel. Um, yeah. Sometimes also just groups don't work out, not because someone is a is an asshole or something, but just because they just don't mesh. Uh, which is why I also dropped out of another D and D group a while back. A couple people we met initially, they seemed like really cool, and then we actually started playing D and D with them, and we 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 realized like, oh, they don't play the same kind of game that we do, and then we stopped playing with them. Oh, we gotta play some grass, some grassy ass. That means thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Duolingo. Or should I say, gracias, Duolingo. <laughs> I'm very lonely. Making some peer posts now, to which you can, like, tie your boat or the like. Uh, actually, oop, that's a golden one, I think. Yep, don't put it on a golden one. <laughs> you wouldn't put gold on a peer, would you? Come on now. Don't be silly. Hmm. Oh, no, there it is. I was like, hmm, I'm missing a piece. Ah, I wonder how many, like, leftover pieces we're gonna get in this set. I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot. Here's a front check. That's what it looks like right now. Uh, there's clearly still a piece of wall missing here. I don't think there's gonna be an, an exposed fireplace, unless you're going for, like, a... a funny, uh... I'm gonna twist this one a little bit. So that, yeah, so that when you look at it from the back side, it looks like a, like a flame coming out. From the correct angle. Interesting that there's these connective pins, which implies that you can just like click them loose. Which I guess would make sense because, you know, that, that's the whole thing that you can like play this set. Next step. Oh my god, wait. All of these are left over? Ain't no way. I mean, this is the only one I didn't play, so this probably is a mistake. Yeah, no, this one's supposed to be here. Oh, uh, everyone recognizes Professor Egad, for real, for real. Yeah, no, these are all leftover pieces. This is already a huge pile. Why is there a mule near here? The dwarf doesn't get a hammer, does he? Did I just straight up miss the dwarf getting a hammer? Oh my god, he does get a hammer. I'm blind. It did feel weird that, like, uh, you know, he didn't have an actual weapon. <laughs> and I'm not talking about a shield. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, all of these were used. Like, you can get a second lantern. <laughs> Look. Bam. We got a second lantern now. Isn't that magical? Alright, put those over there. We'll start a pile. Our first section of of, uh, of the build is finished. On to the next. That's bag three. I'll put that here in the waiting pile. Bag number two. Same story, I'm gonna try to build here because it's central for you guys. Maybe those are for the PCs. Very well. Which DD Lego set is this, by the way? Is it from the movie? Uh, so they did a competition uh, for Lego ideas for people to design their own Lego sets. And this is the one that won. Uh, this is Red Dragon's Tale, which, as far as I know, isn't referencing any pre existing DD material. It's more just an amalgamation of, uh, just, like, things you would find in your standard D&D world. It's not, like, per se, set in the Forgotten Realms or something. Uh, this is a weird little song. Oh, this is Ricky. This is Ricky's theme. Love Ricky. Who doesn't love Ricky? Honestly. Can I get some, can I get some hearts for Ricky in chat? Uh, we're making a big old wizard right now. Uh, with a beautiful little dress and stuff. I always love how LEGO does dresses. Like, it's just like a a, a, a weird sloped piece that's printed on the front. It's funny. Uh, her head, which tried to roll off earlier. Oh my god, she has like full-on elf ears sculpted into her hair. Uh, it probably goes this way. I'm gonna make her confident. Hell yeah. This song slaps, by the way. <laughs> Uh, she has a second face as well. Oh, wait. 
Hang on. Yeah, you can make her either a woman or a man. I'm gonna make her a woman. Uh, because instead of being robes, these are now dress. Uh, she's gonna be happy woman. I love happy women. Yeah, this is a double cast piece. Because, like, you can see, like... Uh, like, first of all, the ears are a different color, but you can see, like, inside the hair, it's a fully, like, different shot piece. Which means it's high quality, because they don't typically double shoot things. Uh, and then it's a book. I don't see a book. Wait, hang on. She has, like, scrolls, question mark? Oh, this definitely is for, like, fireball or something, right? <laughs> Look at that. Or maybe, like, a meteor spell. Wait. I think this is part of a book. Oh my god, wait, the book you can dress up yourself! Where's the other half of the book? There it is. Yeah, so this is where you put the pages. Is this like the prepared spells you pick? So like, there's this, there's this one. If you put this one in here, you can then make it a whole ass book. And now, bam. She's reading that tone, but you have like two leftover pages you can make. That's neat. Can she actually hold the book? I think here? Oh, she can. Oh my god, look! She can actually hold the book! I keep having the book stick to my page. All I can hear is this Ricky when I catch you Ricky audio. It's a uh, Hero Pawn Ricky from uh, the. Oh my god, wait. No. <laughs> Gamers. It's sticker time. Everyone give it up for sticker time. Yeah. It's sticker time, alright. Um this sticker. Sticker number seven. Sticker time! I hate sticker time. Okay, you know the deal, we got the, the iFixit tweezers out. And we get the book. We gotta put it on here. Nice and, nice and tight. That's fairly straight. You know what? It's just like me. Straight enough. Bam. You guys think that's straight enough? I think it's straight enough. It definitely looks straight. Uh, some of our funny biology names include SHH, Sonic Hedgehog, or R-I-N-G, a really interesting new gene. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> really interesting new gene? I love that one way more, actually. It's straighter than me, for real. Okay, and now she also has a magic scepter. She fell over. The book is too heavy. The book is so heavy that she can't stand. Oh wait, this is- how do you guys feel the view? The book is so heavy that she can't stand. This is miserable. Uh, this is the wand, I think. No, but it's fucking sick. Look at this Ninjago ass piece. With like a whole fucking dragon head and shit. That's hella cool. Yeah, this is for the wand. That looks symmetrical, so I'm just going to assume it is. And she got a. Oh, she gets a gem. I love the Lego gems. The Lego gems are so cool. Look at that magic wand. They probably intended her to be studded. Oh, absolutely. Because, like, look, if she's studded, she's fine, obviously. But, like, if she's just standing... <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, yeah, just like the dwarf, she also has a male counterpart face. So now we have one male, one female piece. Uh, interestingly, though, the dwarf came with two hair pieces. She only comes with one. So, whether you are male elf or female elf, you have the same hair type. Alright, back to the actual building! Uh, building the building! I want to move my microphone somewhere, but I have no idea where. Okay. One of uh, these pieces, a little droopy over PC. 
and then a half rounded pile. Okay. That goes right here. On top of this goes one by four. I'm a bench. Good night. Take care, Battleaxe. Sleep well. I hope you have big resties. Uh, good bedging. Um, don't let the bed bugs bite you too much. Let them get a few nibbles in now. Uh, otherwise they will not survive winter. Uh, yeah. That's, that's all you need to know. So that's all the advice I can legally give you. Give this one with a stunt and a cheese wedge. That is the actual name for these ones. Um, sandwich, then get ready. Yeah, you got workies. Worky, urky, burkies. Uh, also, Z, I probably am gonna wake up at the early time again tomorrow because that means I can probably finish my project as quickly as possible and then quit work as quickly as possible too, so you probably should wake me up thank you, early. Thank you. That was a lot of breathing. Another sticker! Oh my god. End it. End it, bro. End it now. In plain sight. Oh yeah, no, you should put this on first so you know what orientation the sticker should be in. That's uh that's a good that's a good show. There I go. Wow, it's almost like this company knows what they're doing. Where the fuck is there it is? Is this one Wooly World? Um What time are we at? 57. Title theme, Yoshi's Crafted World. I'm sorry, Terry. I'm sorry to be doing this to you. Yeah, this is okay, there we go. Okay, so now I need to have it with the text at the bottom. I am cringe. I'm sorry. That's just the way the the coogie grumbles. Okay. Sticker time. In plain sight. The amount of focus on display. Okay, I think that's good. Ah, I'm stuck to the booklet again. Okay. Honestly, that's, I think, the straightest sticker yet. Perfect! I ripped the booklet. Good thing I never plan to resell this set, because man, that's hilarious. Okay, this actually gets the... Rod. Are people gonna make fun of me now for ripping the booklet? Oh, the handle is where the sign attaches, so you get, like, this beautiful hanging sign. And now, gets put in a piece, like a show, and gets draped over the side. Uh, and then next to it, we put one of these heterosexual stickers, honestly. The stickers do be low-key a little heterosexual. Heteronormative stickers be like. Uh, and then this one here. Kirby Yarn Boy. It do be toy tracks from Kirby Epic Yarn. When the yarn is epic. Okay. Okay. Uh, one moment while I quickly do something. Okay, back to the music. Where's the music? There's the music. All right, so far, fairly simple steps here uh, that we're going through. Uh, I kind of wish I had like more interesting camera angles. I would if my screens weren't in the way. I really can't move them. Maybe next time we do a stream for this Lego set, which I probably won't be streaming all of this Lego set, so next time I might have more of it built. Uh, but I definitely do 
intend to do a couple streams in this set, that's for sure. Okay, this one I'm gonna place first, because it's a weirdin'. And now the rest can come. We're building up the walls a little higher. I love these brick texture. Uh, with the with this like yellow color. Uh, I, tr I attribute this song to that one Game Gross animation, I think, of Shubaru. Uh, you're gonna have to help me out there, because I don't know which one exactly you're talking about. Also, uh, Chuchuru is like one of the best animators for Grumps I've ever seen. For real. Uh, doot, 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 doot. Okay, that's all the pieces on this track. Now, I need to get a corner piece on here and a grating piece on here. I wonder if the grating piece is uh, because this is where like the actual build disconnects from the top layer. I think it probably is. I've built a fair couple of Lego sets in my day, and this sure does look like a detaching layer moment. She's in a kimono, but I'll be a gaimono. Oh, I do think I know which one that is, actually. Uh, more of these weird little corner pieces with the rounded edges. Also, more of, what are those yellow, like, what are those green little two-piece are gonna be used for? Hmm... This one goes here. We have a big stick that goes across here. And then these two mesh to make these. Perfect. Okay. I like the um, the wooden uh, elements of this so far. The fact that like the uh, it actually looks like the wood's like trying to connect these pieces together and stuff. I have a feeling, like I said, there's going to be something connecting this here, because this doesn't feel quite right. Um, so yeah, that basically, that's my guess for the future of this set. But so far, I think it's already looking like a really cool house. And the fact that like, it's going to be much bigger than this. This is already a pretty sizable building in, in Lego terms. It's only going to get bigger from here. Uh, which I, for one, am excited about. Are these cherries? What? I've never seen Lego cherries before. Like, I'm not a huge into, like, weird Lego sets. So, like, you know. I, I don't expect me to know every single Lego piece, etc. that there's out there. Uh, but I'm still a little taken aback by just seeing cherries. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's all on that side. Oh yeah, this is definitely where it disconnects. A plate with only two studs on the side? Come on now. That's such a disconnection moment. What am I, playing Splatoon? Because it feels like I'm disconnecting. That's a joke about how shitty Splatoon servers are. Honestly, if there's one feature I could ask for in Splatoon 3, it's better servers. Uh, ooh, I was about to put the wrong piece there, but it's needing... Yeah, we have a little special uh, rounded edge. Well, I guess chamfered is the proper word for it. Which makes that this is now a little archway form. Oh, Mallow Mart! I am in love with Mallow Mart. I love this song so much. Oh, hey, look, guys! Oh, it's a chimney! Okay, well, we're gonna put this here. While we work on this thing that is maybe a chimney, who knows? Everything is now on sale! Yeah! Okay, then we put another one of these. And the guy starts talking. He sounds so creepy. I won't lie. Now we do the same pattern, but flipped around. I am so sweaty, every fig is sticking to me. Bam. Oh, that already just looks really nice. <laughs> That's such a good brick texture, though. I really like that, because that definitely reads as brick. Right, if it's now for sale, how much do you want to pay? 
Okay, we do a normal one here and a, an eyepiece here. The eyepiece will have one of these. Beautiful. Again, things are sticking to me. I am a very... <laughs> Look, man. I can't help it that my stand is sticky fingers. Zipper man, if you're uncultured. <laughs> I think the music ended. I think you gotta go put on a new music. Uh, Nintendo music to start your day. I mean, sure, we're not starting our day, but... Animal Crossing. I'm up for Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is nice music. I love how Matterly literally took over a snooty store and is selling everything for cheap. I have never actually played, um... Ocarina of Time? Is that where Malamort's from? Where's Malamar from uh, Majora's Mask? It feels like it would probably actually be from Majora's Mask. All right, now that we've made this beautiful looking chimney, which I'm actually a huge fan of. Twilight Princess! I, I told the, the sad Twilight Princess story last time on stream. Um, Not great. I do want to give Twilight Princess another shot, honestly. Wait, what? These are just supposed to go in a crate. <laughs> what are they? I am confused. It's just like, yeah, put three of these green things in a crate. Are they peppers? New stream idea? What, just play Twilight Princess? Uh, when you lose your gridif, take out your emergency baggie of Lego pieces and give it a good shake. And just like a cat, when you shake its, its, its food bag, he will come sprinting to your location at top speed. Be braced for impact. You, you, you put this upon yourself. We put the cherries in here. The fact that these are cherries made me think that, like, these were maybe supposed to be, like, pears? I mean, they're definitely not cherries, right? I mean, they're definitely not peppers, right? That feels weird. Okay. We snap on a lid. Forever seal in these goods. They are never escaping. I guess your players aren't, like, meant to see you build this, so that, like, during the game, they can be like, what's in those crates? I crack open the crates, and then you're like, well, there's cherries and green things! What? Oh, that is beautiful. I really like that. It's just like, ah, I broke a piece off. Force equaling a particle accelerator, for real. That is such a nice little corner. I love that a lot. That's very good. 10 out of 10. Okay. Stuck in my head now, man. How late is it? 11. Okay. Don't want to go in too late tonight. Uh... I have no idea what I'm making. I just looked at, like, what I'm making. Like, later on, and I still have no idea what I'm making. Okay, this goes like this. And gets a boy beneath it. And this goes like this. And gets a boy beneath it. Uh, cause the woodwind... Uh, wait, 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 so is this the one I'm crossing? Cause the woodwind making a little, little Pikmin-y. This is Garden of Hope Morning Pikmin 3. So it is not just Animal Crossing, it is also Pikmin. Uh, and hell, it, it's even, I think it has just... No, it's still just Pikmin. But it also has... Now what's that one, eh? Give that one a guess. It's like a little table? I don't... What is this? What am I looking at here? Why does it have, like, free claws? I don't, I don't understand. What are you getting here? Man, I never heard this one in my life. <laughs> For real? This is your beloved Twilight Princess. <laughs> That's kind of really funny. Uh, this one goes right here. Or don't know what you're talking about. You are right. It is Ordon Village. 
We're now just plus playing the guessing game, Terry. That's just all we're doing today. Pro tip for cocktail making. Take some uh, Coke and throw in a splash of Smirnoff Ice. Uh, it'll reduce the alcohol content so much that you are never going to get drunk off of this. It is kind of tasty, though. Uh, wow, who would have guessed that citrus flavors mix well with citrus flavors? I love guessing what music is playing. I think it's fun. I like it. Um, I, I used to play this game with a friend of mine, um, where we'd just be chilling, and we'd have, like, a playlist on. And the person whose playlist it is had the job of, like, every time a new song came on, you would be like, oh, this is... Ba -da 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 -da. And, like, have to, like, say what song it is as quickly as you can. Uh, which is just, like, a funny little thing you can do. And I was horrible at it, because so often I add songs to my liked songs and playlists without actually knowing the titles. Uh... Oh my god! It's a weapons rack! This is where people put their weaponry, he says, putting in a, a loot because bards are annoying. Do, do not mind that I broke off a piece. It's hard to click the loot into place. The loot is not supposed to go there. <laughs> I was like, this is way too hard to put in like this. Surely I'm doing something wrong. I was, in fact, doing something wrong. Okay. Uh, next up is the big old spear. Uh, and lastly is shame that he's no longer with us. That sounds like he fucking died. Lastly is the battle axe with its blade pointed toward the wall. Oh, I actually messed up the order. There's supposed to be one more fervor in and that's this rapier. I love rapiers. This is sick. Um, or get punched in the arm. I mean, there wasn't really a, a, a repercussion to getting it wrong. You were just a loser. I guess, I guess we, like, you could do it for points. Like, if you have a, a, a playlist that, like, has your songs going back and forth or something. I don't know. Sounds like a lot of setup. It was more just a spur to moment thing. Just a funny little side quest little challenge to keep the mind occupied. I'm gonna break this off so I can more easily access this. <laughs> That's just the kind of Lego builder I am, man. This, I believe, is Animal Crossing music. Just got that flavor to it, you know? What, what, which one is it, though? I have no idea. It's one of the AM, PM kind of songs, the, the hour songs. Okay, I think I did everything on this. Check, 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 yes. Next up, we're adding the booze. We're getting boozy. I mean, these are, these have been like the Lego alcohol, alcohol, there you go, <laughs> bottles since like before Lego like got rid of the fucking, the sculpted base plates, like the olden Lego days. So, um... I think that reads pretty decent as being a little boozy. Oh my god! So, back here in this wall, right? Back here, there's this little scoop thingy, and then two studs in the walls. And I was like, what is that gonna be for? I found out what. There's a keg here with a little stud at the front. And you put this in, and you click it into the wall, and it just sits on it, and it's such a good build! And I fucking love this! Oh my god, this is such a good set. Oh my god, we have a chicken leg here. Chicken leg? And we're gonna put on, I think I have like a plate or something. Boom. Uh, it's not clicking in a place, really. Oh, it's not clicking in a place because it's angled. Okay. This one goes here. So we got a little serving, a chicken leg. And next to it, um, this ketchup bottle? <laughs> I think it's like a Healy potion, probably. Uh, but honestly, I'm not sure. Okay, then we have a cup. 
Cup? Where's Cup? Oh my god. Oh my god, there's like fully injection molded with beverage inside cups. Spared no expense, boys. Look at this nerd building Lego sets. Yeah. Uh, I got no, no comment, Your Honor. Guilty as charged. It's beer. It has a little foaming head on it. Oh my god, I love this set so much. And this one gets a bottle. Beer bottle. Heineken. Everyone hates it. It's piss water. Hate Heineken. This is an interesting piece. It's like a, a cutout rail. That like something could glide along. I wonder if something will actually glide along it. Or if it's just uh, aesthetic. I hope it isn't. Uh, I goofed. This is supposed to go here. And this here. There we go. A curtain, maybe? Mayhaps. How you doing, Topher? How the plants? You little green thumbed motherfucker. It goes here. Oh, this one goes here. This one goes here. Then you click on there. Beautiful. Oh, and then we have this one go in like this. I have like full on rafters and stuff. I am falling in love with this set. And then this one goes right here. Okay. That looks good. Then this one goes in the front. We got one of these that goes right here. You should know. <laughs> I don't know about them on the server. That is true. Uh, but I was I was just just I was just trying to make conversation. <laughs> Quite honestly. I know it's going your plants. It's going decently well. In fact, gamers, you wanna you wanna know how it's going with these with these friggin' plants? In our in our little private area, Topher has been sending like updates and stuff. Uh, the so here it is. Here it is uh, without pictures because I'm I, I don't want to expose the pictures. Uh, it's private material. I'm just I'm just too lazy. Here it is breaking news, guys. We have some breaking news in Plant World. One of the chamomile seedlings is starting to sprout its very first set of true leaves. Now. The bait is still out what is truly a true leave, but these leaves are believed to be the successor of the leave dynasty. Same goes for the dill plants. You can notice a little stub near the base of their stem. Uh, you can't, but I can. I'm looking at the pictures right now. They're very purple because UV lamps and that kind of jazzery. Well, I don't think it's UV lamps. I think it's just like normal lamps, but you can see you know. that new cilantro growth. Also, why are you growing cilantro? Disgusting, yucky soap stink bug smell. Uh, new cilantro growth. Looks like I may have added one too many seeds to the bottom planting cell. I don't think so. I only see one sprout. Oh no, there's one up there too. I completely missed that one actually. Yeah. The, oh wait, that's multiple. I am stupid. I missed. I missed. Looked at this image when I was. I think you sent this while I was like, with my, with my with my sister celebrating my mom's birthday. So like, I did not look look closely enough at these images. Oh wow. Yeah. No. There's like. Three plants in there. Never mind, I underestimated the power of cilantro. That disgusting herb is too strong and we need to kill it. I assume though that you uh that you don't taste stinky soap cilantro. True leaves are non-seed leaves. The first leaves after the new the first leaves. Oh really? I had no idea that that was like an actual thing. Because I I never have grown plants in my life. <laughs> Which I think is obvious from the fact of how I talk about it. I just realized that there's a shoulder piece there that probably should have gone on the girl. Uh, yeah, no, it definitely should have gone on the girl. Or boy, but in my case, it's girl. There. I feel like that's correct. That's way too far. <laughs> that's like mega far. No, wait, that's too far again. Right? No. There it is. Yeah, I forgot to put these in. Darn. Is this Dragon Quest? Um, This is 16. This is Pokemon X and Y? Yeah, this is uh, Vanaville Town. Pokemon X and Y. Yeah, Pokemon. They're more prominent on basil plants. Interesting. 
just had a thought when I saw sister watching a two-eated movie would have a lot different the guy. <laughs> a rat could understand English. You, I think you'd be thrown in a psych ward. <laughs> you guys don't understand. I'm talking to the rats. Rats, they know. Bag number three. We're at like at least a tenth of the way. This is gonna be a long building process. On the basil, I posted that I meant. Oh, okay, that's what you meant. Okay, 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 okay. I thought you just like meant like basil in, in in general. Like basil has like way more different true leaves. I feel like the term true leaves is way too metal. <laughs> like it feels like, like a super. Oh no! Don't get away from me. I see you, Roland. I see you. See me hating. Oh, that's a that's a reference. Uh. What's the last time you heard a reference to fucking that song? Rolling Dirty. Alright, we got a fighter little man thing. Uh, <laughs> man thing. The disrespect is real. Where are your legs, man thing? There are your legs. Oh, wait, you're a tiny. I think you're like a halfling or something because you got weird ears too, man thing. Uh, I have to make him a man now. The woman head won't suffice. He has to be a man now. I've called him a man thing too many times. Uh, oh, man thing doesn't have any sad faces, only like happy and really happy. Which are not reflected accurately on the sheet. These are not the faces. <laughs> this face is not on the sheet. He has like a really happy expression, which is not in the booklet. This expression's in the booklet, but his other expression should be like a muted smile, not this like, yeah. Oh, that's a printing mistake. The booklet... This head in the booklet is the same as this head. These two are the same. This one is supposed to be that eh, smile. Eh, see? Why is there a weird stain here? Gross. Uh, anyway, you weren't supposed to put your head on yet, so let's take that off again. Because your armor! You got big shoulder pauldron. God, he looks like a Monster Hunter character. <laughs> the fucking huge ass shoulder pauldron. Where's your hair, man thing? Beautiful. Hair with ears. Notice, by the way, how if they have special ears, they don't get uh, different had heads. If you get a special ear, you only get one hair. No more. Thank fuck that his shield is printed. I would not have liked to have made a shield sticker. Uh, you can have either a short sword or a great sword, so obviously we're going to give him a great sword. Man Fing may be a man Fing, but he does know how to kill. Man Fing can take a life. Look at Man Fing. Honestly, this is a really fun minifig. I would love to mix and match the armor pieces uh, <laughs> between the minifigs. Alrighty, I think this is going to be the last portion I'm going to build on today's stream, and then I'm going to end it. So strap in, viewer, while I strap on. Boom, plates. Boom, smaller plate on the plate. Boom, even smaller plate on the smaller plate. Uh, boom! No, wait, wrong one. Uh, <laughs> boom, smallest plate. And now we're getting to slightly bigger plates, so the joke is over. This is definitely Pokemon music. <laughs> right? Like, this feels very Pokemon. It's it's Kirby's Epic Yarn. Let's not talk about that anymore, alright? Let's just go past. Uh, so yeah, we're building this portion. Um, gotta put a different color plate. Wow, how luxurious. Bam, bam. And then one more tiny plate. Interesting that they're building this one too deep. So you can have like a little bit of light tan underneath. Khaki brown? I don't know what that color is. I'm not a color guy. It's the color of your mum. Okay, I goofed. Hang on. I just did something and then I realized that like on the side it has like special instructions and I did not do those. And then I realized that I goofed up. 
Uh, yeah, because this is not supposed to be this. The canvas-like plant. Wait, what? Khaki is a plant? I had no idea. That's not the brick I'm looking for. Right? No, it is actually. I'm just dumb. That looks like it has no divots in it, but okay. Actually, none of these have divots in it. I'm, I'm Shmoo Brain. I'm Shmoo Brandon again. It happens. Okay, this one goes like this. And then we got one of these underneath. I put that right here. I guess it's the hide. Why is this section different? Are they making like a beach for the water side? No, this probably goes on top of what we've already made. So this is probably where the door is. I have a feeling this goes on top at least. Yeah, definitely. Oh my god, there's another! <laughs> I need stickers. Where is my sticker sheet? Oh, it's behind the building. It's behind the part I've already built. Oh my god, my room is so hot. I'm I'm gonna build uh build. Listen to me. I'm gonna fucking like I'm such a huge guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a Raspberry Pi uh, measure the temperature in this room so I can have a little widget on screen showing how hot this room is because it is unbearable. Is that straight? As a wise man once said, straight enough. Hey, hang on, I recognize that. It used to be it used to be way cooler to recognize it before the movie came out. Uh, but that symbol, people who've seen the movie will recognize it too, and people who've been playing the Forgotten Realm setting will recognize it also. That's the symbol of the Harpers. Which means that this inn is a Harper hideout. The Harpers, for those who don't know, is a secret organization of um, people who wish to uh, make sure that power is in the hands of those they trust. Note how it's not in the hands of those who are good or anything. No, it's in the hands of those who the Harpers think power should belong to. The Harpers are a very gray society. Um, there are a big thing in the Forgotten Realms. If you've played uh, Dragon Heist, there's a character in there who is a Harper that you might not instantly recognize. In fact, there's a couple of characters who are Harpers that you would not recognize. It's so cringe that the Harper pins at PAX were like, yeah, you get them if you buy the whole game. And it's like, well, I don't have enough people to play that game with, so you're, you just lost a customer. I feel like they would have gotten, gotten so much money if they just sold the pin separately. But I get it, it drives the sale of the fucking the game. It's like it was a full on like Warhammer scale game. Like it was huge. You need like one game takes like multiple hours, they said, right? So I don't know. Still there is an audio I was literally in every group at the same time. I was a little lax with that, yeah. Uh but also I didn't really engage with the system of like them actually asking you to do stuff. It was a very thing of like, yeah, we'll call you if you're ever needed. And it was very limited whenever you were actually ever needed. I've been thinking, by the way. You know how we sacked the uh, the Neverwinter campaign because uh, a specific someone decided to burn a lot of bridges? Um, well, what if we restart that kind of campaign uh, with like Battle Axe and stuff? Because Battle Axe wanted to play D&D with us. But I don't think he's a great fit in White Fang. Uh, especially because that's been just going on for ages. Um, so, why not that? I have a lot of prepped stuff for it. It does mean that we'll have to replay a couple of the first sessions uh, and maybe recycle some material if we want to get the same story going. And that's just seeing what, like, you think. Isn't BI not available on, on Saturdays? Um... I think so, but, I mean, they would probably be shorter sessions, so they would probably be able to fit into uh, Sundays. Because they, they would be like three to four hour sessions, you know, a normal D&D session length. For those freaks who play short sessions in not like 13 hour goes at a time. I need to wash this shirt the moment I take it off, oh my god. So we could be so we would be able to like do it on uh, Fridays even I don't know just throwing that out 
Uh, especially now that I'm no longer doing a campaign with, uh, with Gab, which was usually my Friday slot. Uh, with Gab and, uh, J-Man and Shaft and LK and Rico, who I sadly only got to spend time with, like, once or twice. That's a shame. Okay, this one now goes right here. And beautifully. Okay. Oh, there's like a mini, uh, mini, uh, fireplace. That's neat. We also need to finish that one shot. Oh my god, I actually completely forgot about that. Oh my god, wait, what were we actually running? The painting heist? It was some kind of heist. It was a heist from, like, maybe we could also get listed on, uh, on, on some cool D&D things. I think it was the D the, the painting heist. Uh, it was some kind of heist from Keys from the Golden. Uh, the golden one. This goes here? Yes. My s oh, you're setting one shot! We have a lot of one shots we still gotta finish. If you said that and I was like, oh yeah, my one shot, and you, but you did not mean my one shot. Yeah, we should do that too. We should definitely do that too. Uh, which means, because you wanted to run that in Pathfinder, right? We should, we need to actually sit down and we got to do that conversion. Because I kept fucking postponing that. Because Pathfinder scares me. This goes here. Then... There it is. This goes here. Oh, that's weird. Why... Why is that structured like that? Why do that? I guess it's to make this a more cohesive hole. It's not that hard to get into. I'm just scared of new things. That's mostly it. Animals. Yeah. I gotta go have a good stream, everyone. Have a good time at work, Bean. I love you. I love you like the, the sun loves your face. Because it wants to hug it so much. Hydrate. I mean... I have alcohol. Alcohol has water in it. I think. Coke mixed with uh, smart advice is shockingly good. I'm quite enjoying this set. It's a good set. It's a good set, Your Honor. I would recommend buying it, but uh, here's the thing. Last time I checked on the LEGO website, this this set is on 60 day back order. That means that if you order this set on the LEGO website, you gotta wait two months for it to arrive. Which either means that LEGO purposefully made two little sets, uh, or LEGO severely underestimated how many of these sets would sell. Uh, why is that wrong? Oh, because they are supposed to be on a fucking thing and I'm stupid. But alcohol dehydrates you? Yeah, that is true. That is definitely true. Remember to always drink water while you're drinking alcohol. He said, knowing he does not have any water near him. Here's the thing though, I've been getting this habit recently, which I honestly... It's probably gonna sound the most basic thing ever, but I would recommend you do it too if you don't do it already. Uh, but straight up just drinking like one or two glasses of water right before bed? Game changing. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so stupid when you put it like that, but genuinely. Uh, just like chum chumgling some water right before bed. Um... It's, uh, for me, it's, it's also like, just, when you wake up, you gotta pee. So you're instantly gotta get out of bed, and then once you're out of bed, you're like, well, guess I'll stay out of bed. I peed myself doing that? I could see that. Yeah, that is a mild problem. Uh, but you know, what's a little piss in life? You gotta piss yourself sometimes, you know? God, I found this, like, uh, this channel that does, like, these, um, these skits. They are so fucking funny. They're like really right at my like, uh, my like sense of humor. Uh, so if you think I'm funny, you might think them they're funny too. Uh, they are called That's a Bad Idea, I think. 
Yeah, at that's a bad idea on YouTube. In fact, here, you know what? I like them so much. When this stream is done, go go watch a couple of their shorts. I haven't actually watched their full length video. Do they have any full length videos? Oh yeah, they do. They they do have full length videos. Uh, I think they're really fucking funny. <laughs> they they have some really good bits. Um, they might not be up your lane, but they're definitely up my lane. That is for sure. I love the amount of detail in this house. There's so much tiny thing. Oh, this one sounds familiar. What's this one? Um, I don't want to look it up. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to see what it is. It sounds so familiar. I think it's a game I haven't actually played. Mother? Like the Mother series? I'm gonna see. Earthbound! On- Okay, yeah, no, I looked at chat. I think you guys are probably right. Yeah, it's on it. I think Mother. Mother is the weirder option to pick out between Earthbound and Mother. That's... I think it was... You guys are right. You guys are good at this. Way better than I am. Play Earthbound on the SNES right now. I don't have a SNES. I have to emulate it. And you know how much Nintendo hates emulators. Switch has it. Yeah, if you have Nintendo Switch Online Deluxe Package, buy a SNES. How much is this nest? Oh, whoa, what? Wait, 130 bucks? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That can't be right. Let me like look at like a, 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 a store. Oh yeah, no, a SNES is straight up just like a hundred bucks. The controllers are 22 bucks. Wow. That's more than I expected. <laughs> uh, no, wait, just online has it? The plus is for Game Boy. And Get out! I need you. We're doing important research here, gamers. Actually, here, if I do this. Haha! <laughs> it's like, it's like the old... I should probably update it, because it might not have it. This is like the olden days. Of like, welcome to my, to my Minecraft uh, video. Today we are uh, going to be surviving the first night. And then they make a Yogscast reference. <laughs> Love the Yogscast. I recently watched the Yogscast video of the 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 the, 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 the uh, getting the, the 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 vehicles in the GTA. I think that video was so fucking funny. Good video, lads. Also, Yogscast now like the Yogscast boys like Ben and and Tom and stuff. They have like this channel where they do uh, Warhammer and things on called Games Night. Love that. That's fucking peak. Love games night. Gonna finish this step. Otherwise, I won't remember where I left off uh, when I come back to it. Get in there. Get. Yeah, it clicked. Okay. What? Killer instincts. Kirby something. Battle toads. Harvest moon. Uh, side pocket. I'm not, oh, hang on. Now it's censored. I'm not seeing Earthbound yet. Maybe I'm blind. Did I miss it? It's on the left. Our 
Earthbound. Oh my god. You can just straight up just play Earthbound. Well, now I have no excuse, do I? Yeah, no, that's just... <laughs> that's just Earthbound. Look. It's Earthbound. It's crazy. There's an Earthbound happening right now. The war against Gygus. I've never played Earthbound. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. Fire <laughs> Undertale! I guess we're gonna do some Earthbound streaming. That's cool. You know, I thought Earthbound would be a title that's like only available on the, the premium service. Okay, this one goes here. Link. And we flip it. We put one of these right here. Is this gonna be like a bed or something? Feels like it's gonna be like a bed. Because it's taking up the space that a bed would. I like that. Nice cozy bed in the end to sleep in. Uh, right, next up. There's an inn. There's, an, there's a difference between an inn and a tavern, right? A tavern is a place you can drink. An inn is a place where you can stay the night. Uh, typically inns are built in like high travel areas so that merchants and stuff can stay in them. Because back in the day, adventurer was not really a profession. <laughs> there weren't just monsters that would cough up gold pieces and experience for you. Uh, an inn sometimes have both. Yeah, no, inn, uh, so, sorry, yeah, no, I, I, my distinction was wrong. Uh, a tavern is a place where you can drink. An inn is a place where you can drink and eat and etc. and also sleep. Yeah, basically, an inn is a tavern where you can sleep. So every inn is a tavern, but not every tavern is an inn. This is a weird shape for a bed. Like, <laughs> like, it's like, more like a, like a baby's cot with, like, the side walls. Um, gotta put some posts around it. I was about to say, oh, maybe we're building it like upside down, but then why would there be purple here? All poo poo time is pee pee time, but not all pee pee time is poo poo time. Very true, Terry. Poetic in its simplicity. Hey, hey, we're making the actual bed part of the bed. Uh, so this goes here. This goes here. Oh, the sword can go here, by the way. Um, this goes here. We have a lot of teeth. What are these teeth for? Are they gonna be peppers again? White peppers? I still have no fucking clue what that barrel was full of. Maybe the adventure will actually say like, there's a crate full of hmm <laughs> here. Uh, because God knows that right now I have no clue what they are. I, I just assume they're green peppers, but I, I don't know. Are you making the mimic? No, the mimic is a chest. What was that? Whoa. Don't rip the booklet again. Yeah, Mimic is a chest. Mimic is a chest. Uh, in fact... Terry, you silly bean! I've already made the Mimic! <laughs> this is a gift with purchase set uh, that you get for a little dice holder. Uh, which holds my favorite dice. Uh, red set that was like the first set that like Z got for me. Well, one of at least. Yeah. So we've already kind of made the mimic, so I guess we're gonna make like a tiny version of the mimic too. Um, what was I? Here. Uh, oh, I goof. No, I didn't. I don't. I, I can still fix it. Is this Kirby? This is Kirby. Kirby's epic yarn. Oh, I guess. Hmm. What? That's weird. Well, so clearly, like... What is... What? I assume that, like, this can... Maybe you can, like, actually put a minifigure to bed? I'm lost. This also just doesn't fit. Did I fuck something up? Put that on there. Put those two here. Two more. Yeah, no, I didn't fuck anything up. Yeah, then this gets a piece like this. Yeah, this definitely will click into here. Like, this is a weird looking bed. Um, 
Wait. Hang on. Huh. We might be making a mimic. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> there are eyes in this brick, and I'm being instructed to put them right here. Right next to each other. Um. Oh my god! We got these blue boys, right? These blue boys, they go right here. And right here. And then you put this piece right here. And then that's this step completed. And the very next step is you grab one of these teeth. And yeah, you ain't getting the <laughs> You're right, this is a mimic. Oh my god, I love this. Bed mimic. In an inn? Why? Who would do such a thing? Oh, spoiler alert to like the people who we're gonna play through. It's like a dead chest. For real, for real. It's got teefies. <laughs> yeah, and now you click this in the place. It's still kind of weird how there's no connection here. Oh, I guess it's so that they could... Yeah. If there was a brick underneath, it wouldn't be able to open. That's why. So you have this, like, nice cozy place, but there's just little peepers! Little peepers looking in it, so they are ah. <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, straight up! Put the beds right in here. Bum. And then it can go rah! And then when you kill it, you can remove it. <laughs> That's so good. I love that. Alright, cool. Um, hmm. Hang on. I would like to put this on the next part. But I don't think... No, I don't think it's happening. I don't think that's gonna be happening today. Looking at this. Talk about a deadly nap. Uh, yeah, no, I think this is about as far as we're gonna get for today. Uh, clearly, this is gonna get, gonna come on here. Uh, like this. So, this is as far as we've gotten today. This is as far as we've gotten today. Uh, I think this is a wonderful set so far. This has been great fun. I just love the look of this place, too. And look, play features in the back. Roar XD. Uh, but I think that's where we're going to end for today. Uh, two slightly, or not quite, but almost two hour streams. Uh, I think I'm going to stick to more of this format. Uh, because this is a good format, in my uh, humble opinion. We got some cool little minifigures, too. Filling those off. Uh, this one cannot be balanced. This one keeps wanting to flop over to the sides. You get it just right, you can nail it on the, on the line of the dress. Yeah, this is how far we've gotten for today. Uh, here it is, like next to my head. You can see this are like quite a big building. And this is like only a tiny part of it. This is three bags. There's at least 30 in this set. Uh, I'm gonna be building a lot of it off stream uh, because I, it just means I can build it more comfortably. Also, I need to get out of this hot as hell room. I am melting in here. Uh, so, that is the end of the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you had, uh, remember to smash that like button, uh, subscribe, um, ring the bell, follow me on Twitter, follow my alt on Twitter, all that good stuff. Uh, join the Discord, which is linked in the description. All of the, those last free, the, the Twitter and the Discord, and my private Twitter. All those, uh, you get notifications whenever I go live uh, on those. I do a little ping on the Discord. It is a public ping for all streaming things, so like you, know, you might you might find some other streams that you like. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Next stream will probably be... Probably not Lego. We've been doing too much Lego. I'm going to be building this off stream now. Uh, you'll definitely see it a couple more times because there are 30 fucking bags in this set. You could do one bag a day and be busy for a month. Ludicrous. Earthbound? Maybe Earthbound. Could be fun to do some Earthbound. I was thinking something Splatoon related, like one man salmon run, but Earthbound could be neat. We'll see. Uh, anyway, 
I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you have, remember to leave a like, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, go check out, um, I guess, that YouTube channel I mentioned. Or, if you haven't yet, um, that uh, the, 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 the YouTube video I told you about on the last stream. Uh, copy link. Go check out this video right here. Uh, it is a, that is a weird link. That goes to the right place, right? That goes where I wanted to. Yes, you're an adult now. Splatoon 1 to 3. It's a great video. I recommend you go check it out. Uh, with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful night, uh, morning, evening, wherever you are, afternoon, I don't care. Uh, and I'll, I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.